like for me, the body count thing is f- nothing. This is like an insane conversation that I don't even. I can't believe that the red pill world puts so much thought into it because for my, ex- because I would way rather date a girl of f- two hundred dudes than a girl of f- two dudes. Uh, it's not even close. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because why the come f- from 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 like just two again, right? Yeah, I'm very experienced, and you're not. <laughs> and okay, why, hold right? on. Wait, yeah. can I just real quick so, on that? Okay. Yeah. And not to and my audience hates when I do this conversation. Uh-huh. Okay, but like, it's really fun. Right. Good is really fun. Um. The craziest thing I'd ever seen in my entire life when I was on this fucking podcast, okay? If we were to do a conversation about, like, what makes for, like, good sex or bad sex, I could, I could do, like, a three-hour show on this. It's a really fun topic for me, really interesting, really entertaining. Um, and I got a lot to say. These girls went around, and, the, and it was on the Fresh of It show, and I think somebody posed a question, like, what makes, what's the difference between good pussy and bad pussy or whatever? And they went around the whole table, and nobody had a single fucking thing to say about it. Right. And sometimes when I look at these people that are in the really big status games, I don't know if it's true in your world. Um, but it is true in my world. Something that blew my mind is I see these insanely beautiful Instagram girls, insanely beautiful streamers, and I'm thinking like, man, you guys must be like fucking every day. It's got to be wild or whatever. One, these people are fucking way less than a lot of people think they are. And two, a lot of them just don't even seem like they like sex that much, guys Mm. and girls, where the important thing is just like, I just want to fuck and say that I did it and I want the experience of fucking. And it's like, man, I'd rather just masturbate at this point. Like, Right. Why? Why waste your time? No, but I, I know agree, that some yeah. people have like really different points of view on a that. A lot of where... people are very removed from the actual act of sex, and especially just the fact, like, even as I get older, like, honestly, like, there's like a level of sex I have with my girl that I've been with for six years mm-hmm. that is just like a different level of connection than probably anything that I had during my twenties because I feel so close to her and we've had enough time to really like get that comfortable with each other. And granted, like, there might be a girl on earth that I could have that close of a connection with the first time we sleep together or whatever it's kind of all over the place but i mean yeah like a a lot of and and i see that very much in myself where i was concerned with fucking a lot of people when i was younger rather than Mm -hmm. being with somebody for a year and sleeping with them 300 times and like really figuring out your chemistry you know yeah no i feel like the men who i guess truly care about the body count would be like the providers right men who are taking care of the majority of the bills you know you know who is making this woman a legit housewife who's going to be taking care of the kids, holding down the household. Because again, if I'm a man who is being the provider, taking care of everything, that would mean that I'm putting in a relatively big investment into this woman. And I just don't want to know that she's been, you know, used and abused by 200 men in the past. And those men put in very little, you know, to no investment to fuck her. I, so I just don't is, see what I feel, their past. I feel like you follow them a lot. You're overvaluing yeah. Yeah. someone's past. So, like, th- yeah, this is the thing that I'm thinking about. When I'm thinking about putting in investments and in, like, who's you, like, I don't marry a girl or date a girl just to fuck her. Like, that's like, that's cool and that's fun and I enjoy that. But like, mm-hmm. anybody can fuck anybody. But like, when it comes to like putting investments in people, like, what I'm looking to get out of you, and this is something that I've never heard red pill people talk about as much. Um, Andrew Tate talks about it sometimes, but I haven't seen it as much. Like, I want like a life part partner that I can walk through life with, that I can share experience with, that I have fun with, and I can connect with in a way that um, I can't connect with a chick that I can just fuck really well. Like, that's the kind of connection I'm looking for. So why would I care if this person has fucked 500 or 5,000 guys? Why would that matter at that particular point in time where it's like, now you're making the decision to be with me, now we're together, and now we're like on this life journey and like we're dating each other. I just don't understand why that would matter. That would be like if I found out that, that would be like me carrying that Destiny used to work at McDonald's. Like, okay, you're a streamer now, you have money now, but you used to work for five bucks an hour. It's like, I really honestly don't care. I can see when people have, when a girl has fucked a lot of people or even just some people in your social circle, I can see how there's awkwardness associated with that for sure. Like if you had a girl that you really liked and she, you know, used to fuck your, a couple of your best friends, like, yeah, that could be really awkward socially and might be something you have to get past. But when I look back at like myself, even in high school, I remember feeling really jealous when I would be like dating a girl and I knew that she had slept with somebody else that I knew or whatever. I remember feeling really intensely jealous about that. And even at like 17 years old, realizing that like, this is something I'm going to have to unlearn because this issue that I think I'm having right now is only going to comp- compound like over and over and over. Like by the time you're 30, good fucking luck meeting a girl who's got like a single digit body count. Like why would she unless she was like been in relationships for really long periods of time or whatever. Huh? So you're saying that, you know, you know that is abnormal or like you raise like an eyebrow if a girl who's, let's say, 28 years old tells you, yo, I only slept with six people in my life. Well, it, it wouldn't raise an eyebrow if they had only slept with six people. But if you meet a girl and she's 30 and she's slept with like one guy every six months for her whole life or since she was 15, let's say, I mean, that's like 30 people. It's like 
that would be a lot from your perspective, right? To me, that's actually like oh, really, crazy. really conservative number yeah. if she hadn't been in a relationship or something, you know? It's crazy, right? Because even now, like I've been desensitized even working here and seeing like the girls who are coming here and telling me they got like like 300 body counts. So 30 even sounds like a relatively like low number, but like even if you think about it, 30 is kind of a lot, man. But see, that I think you can only think mm -hmm. that because you're young. And then I think that the red pill stuff just kind of like allows you to confirm that they're like are real grown men who feel the same way. Because I don't think yeah. like you could really like I just I just said that's like a dude every 6 months for 15 years would be 30 dudes. I think I, I don't think it in That's a fucking low number. Getting fucked every six months. <laughs> a new sex partner every six months? That sounds yeah, so on. Spartan. Especially, you got to keep in mind, if it's a girl, right? You have to. that's a low number. She's not even trying to fuck people. You're turning she down dudes <laughs> every day, all day. Bro, a girl could be doing like fucking mornings and nightly fucks with a different dude in any college town for 10 years and right. not go through half the fucking matches that she gets in like one week. On and this is the thing, too, is that like girls are fucking smart. Like girls cheat less than men, but girls get caught or girls get caught way less than men. I've, I'm out of fuck that more. up. They cheat more. Than they that. cheat more, but they get caught less because girls are fucking smart at hiding their business because they know that if they've slept with a bunch of guys, that it could lower their rank socially or whatever. So girls tend to be very, very smart about that. And so any, I, I would encourage girls out there to fucking lie about their body count just because it's something <laughs> that so much attention is like put into at this point, right? Um, so I don't know. I would. I, I just think it's like it's just kind of a bizarre thing to fixate it's, on. So I never bring this up on shows. It's very rare. And I'm going to turn a lot of people off by saying this. I understand that. Um, and I don't mean to sound aggressive or attacky with it, but it feels to me sometimes like when I hear the obsession over body counts, sometimes it feels a little bit like an insecurity thing where the guy feels like he can't stack up with right. the other men that she's been with. I like, agree. And it's interesting too. So taking what you said, you talk about like, well, high value men are the one that care about this. I feel like the higher in value I've gotten, the less I care about it. Because if I'm with a woman, one, I know she likes me, and two, I know that we're having a really good time. And it's going to be one of the best times that she's had. I don't give a fuck who she's been with or who she's going to be with. Like, I know that's the case. And if it's not, she can fuck off and I'll find another woman. That's easy. Like, 100%. Um, I feel like as I've gotten more and more value through life, whether it's through cloud or money or whatever, or status or whatever, I'm like, this is a thing that's bothered me less and less. Because why the fuck would it? Like, yeah, you've been with like 20, 30, 100 guys before me, but like, there's only one me and I know I'm a pretty individual, unique kind of dude. So hearing that higher value men are more concerned with finding virgins and stuff, I feel like that it feels to me, and I could be wrong, I mean, maybe different people have different feelings, but that feels like something that comes from a place of insecurity. I'm not saying that everybody needs to do like open relationships or poly or all that shit or whatever, but when you're like looking at your woman who's decided to be with you and is sharing her life with you, and you're like, all I can ever see are the nine dicks that I think you've sucked before. It's like, who care? Why do you care? Here, yeah, right, so, you know, it's definitely hard to like walk the line without getting into like the things that got Andrew Tate banned, right? But when you mm -hmm. speak about, you know, not again, like not property, right? Not property. But when you think about taking care of somebody, putting your investment into them, right? Yeah, but you weren't taking care of when they were sucking dicks. <laughs> no, but no, but right. It just comes from a feeling of not wanting to feel like a sucker. Meaning, like, yo, like I'm out here taking this whore, putting her in his white dress, walking her down this <laughs> altar, right? Telling God and my family, this is my queen. While 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 like she done took like 300 facials, you feel me? Which is kind of like. You know, that's kind of, you know, like most men wouldn't feel okay with that. Let's say, okay, let's say that I do grant you that, and I will, but only under one condition. Yeah. The guy's got to be treated the same. Well, like, why? how can a girl be like, I'm kissing you at the altar, and I know your tongue has been in like 50 different women's assholes. Like, how is the girl supposed to be any more okay with that than the guy is with her taking 300 facials? And here's why, right? Because, again... I'm talking about like traditional men, right? Again, well, I'm no, not no, fuck tra none of this is traditional. No. We're, not, we're talking guy yeah. fucking. Hold on, wait, yeah. wait. I want to speak into that real hardcore because I grew yeah. up Catholic and all that shit. Okay, men going around and fucking 400 women. Yeah. That is not traditional. That's some hedonistic, crazy bullshit. Okay? Yeah, we came up with that. That's modern. Yeah, shit, that's right? some modern, crazy <laughs> hedonistic bullshit. But let's say, yeah. but if I do grant you the world, we're like, okay, I don't yeah. want a woman to spend with that many fucking dudes. Sure. Why? Why would you think the woman want to be the guy spending with that many girls, spending that many different women? Right. And like, here's why I brought up traditional, right? Because I'm referring to this because there's definitely gender roles, right? Meaning, if her goal is to be a housewife and date a guy, right? Then she's looking for a guy who's ambitious, who got wealth, et cetera, et cetera. And he's looking for somebody, you know, who could be a wife, nurturing, feminine, who can instill different principles into their daughter to be wholesome. A woman like that, 
He's looking for different things in that woman, right? He's looking for somebody again. I don't think a female with with the with uh, three hundred bodies, you know, could be wholesome, intact box, right? Could be you, how it, how could you not be wholesome? <laughs> three hundred bodies. I just well, let's say let's say let's right? be more re- reasonable. Let's say twenty five, and we'll say like forty bodies, twenty five, forty bodies. You don't think this person could be like a wholesome, cute, bubbly, teach their kids a good value person? Like she's just. Like, what part of having yeah. sex with guys or dating, casual dating or whatever, or having, like, one-night stands, like, now she can't be wholesome anymore. She's I know, like an animal. I, yeah, right. I know famous porn stars sure. who have, you know, got fucked by eight giant dudes on camera at the mm-hmm. same time, and they now are in a committed relationship, and they just have a kid, and they're just, like, the most normal good parents you've ever seen. I mean, it's not really... Uh, mm-hmm. You know, you have to understand, too, that, like, porn is acting, and that... Well, I mean, I guess you're not just talking about porn. You're yeah, talking about real yeah. life as well. But I'm, yeah, I'm always yeah. thinking porn. <laughs> and now listen, so like it's past that too because I think like again, like all men require is to have a you know a low mileage you know. Uh, <laughs> what does that even mean? Right? Oh, sorry. Ejaculation, right? A low mileage ejaculation box for me. You feel me? What uh, the fuck? Right. Two, 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 two. <laughs> ejaculation yeah. box. That's what you want your wife to be. That's all she is to you. That's two, fucking crazy. Well, again, that's like parts of it, right? A low mileage ejaculation box, meaning you know you come as a premium sexual tool. You but it doesn't change. Her body doesn't change. If she's had forty bodies or two, it's, I it's could the say same. that. I have had sex with porn stars who have had sex with like hundreds and hundreds of d- thousands of dudes, perhaps, and it's like, and including the biggest dicks in the entire world, and some of the chicks who are the most used up, you would say, have totally tight vaginas. I'll, like, I'll even I'll do. It's you, very genetic. I'll even do you one better in that. This is kind of weird not to be straight, but like I had sex with my kid's mom like weeks after delivering, and it's like. Basically the same shit. Really, my girl yeah. had a C-section, so I never got to find oh, out shit. what that okay. was hitting like. Yeah, I was because I was I was like I wonder if it's gonna be like way different. It's like no, it wasn't. Like really? a couple weeks later, it was like damn, holy shit. Or it might have been like a month or two later, but yeah. So like the idea that like they've just, fuck, and there's a whole bunch of dumb shit where some people will think that like if she's fucked 500 guys, her pussy's worn out. But if right. one guy's fucked her 500 times, it's gonna be just as <laughs> right. tight. Like wait, does the pussy too. know every dick that's been inside it? Right. Sorry, we're getting up and I'm no, not trying no, to. No, 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 no. Listen, right now. Uh-huh. Right, I'm just getting ready because I'm gonna get gang banged on Fresh and Fit tomorrow on this shit. So I'm having my moment right now. <laughs> well, he is their operative, so this <laughs> no, is totally yeah. fine. I'm not. No, no, right. Again, mm-hmm. man. You know, so like even like I'm um, past that. Right, even if you like like um, for example, I think the Institute of like Family Studies, right, like did the studies like where like it shows like the divorce rate for like women with like you know like five or ten. You know, like oh, I know exactly right? what you're talking about. Right? I just had a debate on this study last night. Yeah, right. Like, so, yeah, right. That's so, like, a really interesting study, right? Uh-huh. So it shows lowest divorce rate is zero partners. Yeah. Then one partner, then two partner, <laughs> yeah. but then something crazy happens that nobody that decides to study talks about. <laughs> if you've had two sexual partners, your divorce rate at that point is going to be higher than people all the way up to 10 partners. Mm-hmm. So once you fuck two people, you might as well fuck eight more. And it's not until you get 10 plus partners that it starts to go up more. But if you mm-hmm. read that IFS study, the uh, Institute of Family Study, if you actually read it, the author talks about why that zero, one, and two number seems so insane. And it's not just because once they've fucked people, they're like, you know, they fucked the the intimacy and monogamy out of their brain and they can't handle it anymore. Pair Sometimes bonding. you get really, no, not fucking pair bonding. <laughs> Sometimes you get lucky and you meet the one yeah. like, really early in life. And you get you meet that person sometimes in high school, very rare, or college, very rare. You mean it's like, oh shit, and you're together forever. Um, and then you've got religious people that get married once and done, and they don't ever want to like, even if they're in a fucking abusive relationship, and I've known people like this, they won't <laughs> fucking leave. So yeah, the one and two number might be, or the zero, one and two might be like really, really um, low for divorce rates, but it, it has a lot to do with that. Sometimes you just find the person. It's like, yeah, of course, the first, second person you, you, you meet, you end up dating them for a long time, and that's like the one, and you 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 know you ride or die with that person. So of course, it's going to be lower. But um. The fact that the the, fa- the biggest challenge I'd always have with that study is people always cited to make it sound like the more people you fuck, the harder it is for you to um, not get divorced, right? The, the higher the sex rates, the higher the divorce rates. But they can never explain why does that trend reverse from two down to I think it's from two to four to five, and then it goes a little bit up from four to five to six to nine, and then it's not until you get to ten plus that it actually goes over the two again. And I've you, never had a good explanation for you that. You don't even have like a hypothesis for that. Well, but I, I think the that what the studies, what the author says when he, because if you read that thing, it's what I think it's what he says is what makes the most sense. Right. If you get really lucky, you meet the one, and it's like zero, one, or two. Like it's just like a statistical anomaly. Like you're just like, yeah, those people are less likely to get divorced. Yeah. Right. All right, people, we just hit three hundred thousand subscribers. You know we're trying to hit four hundred thousand subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.